just a quick little update on Mr. Callum here. His poops are still not 100%. They're pretty close to the shape they need to be at, but they are still a little bit softer than they should be. I did take him to the vet a week ago again. He was a little bloated. He was still eating and drinking and pooping, but he just seemed a little out of it. So I gave him gas drops. Um, unfortunately, our regular vet couldn't see me for an entire week, which is too long in case there was something major going on, especially since he was a little bit bloated. So luckily, I was able to get him into an emergency vet nearby, and they had their exotic vet on hand that day, so he was able to be seen right away. They didn't see any major concerns with the blow. They said it's really hard to tell with these little guys what exactly is going wrong with them, but he was still concerned with the soft poops. I made sure to bring all of the medications that he's taken so far, and I let the vet know exactly what he's been taking and how it worked for him. So he went ahead and he gave us two more rounds of antibiotics both at the same time. He gave us the last one that we used. I'm don't, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just going to put a little box here with what it is, as well as a second antibiotic, which will be this one. So I was giving him the first one twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, and the other one just once in the morning. Um, he is done with the one he takes twice a day. He's now just down to once a day, and that'll be done tomorrow. After that, he still has to stay off of veggies, and then hopefully soon everything gets better and everything will go back to normal. So we're in one of our last doses of medicine. It's been really hard getting him out of the cage. So what I've been using is this little guy. The little cat bed. He tends to go on it pretty easily. we go. Good boy. So luckily we're almost done. I was having to do this twice a day. Uh, he had two medications in the morning, one in the evening. We just finished the twice a day ones. Now we just have the one in the morning. So we just have today and tomorrow and we are all done. The vet that we went to is pretty cool. They gave us these pre-filled syringes, so I don't have to worry about measuring. I just pop it in his mouth and I'm good to go. The first medication we gave him was pretty easy. Um, the very first time he got sick, because he would just eat it. Quite enjoyable. These ones, not so much. I feel bad doing this, but the only way... I always try to see if he's interested first. Nope. Only way I can get him to do it, I kind of have to hold him, pop his mouth open, and just shoot it. There we go. It's rough, but that's it. I'm sorry, baby. So I have the girls out separate right now because they still get their veggies while Callum cannot, unfortunately. Not until he gets 100% better and I get an okay from the vet. Because they did say that could be one of the causes because his poops were not only clumpy but very soft. She said it could be too many vegetables. They can cause the poops to soften and by restricting them, it causes the poops to harden up again. His poops are mostly back to normal, so I'm hoping sooner rather than later he can go back to eating the vegetables, especially since I feel so bad. He's definitely always weaking at the gate once I'm cutting up the vegetables, but I'm unable to give him any, and he has to take his gross medicine he does not enjoy.